Hey guys, this is Sean Donahoe here with another great little marketing gold tip. What I'd like to do today is show you how to find some very powerful keywords that you can target with your marketing campaigns very easily and for free without any expensive tools whatsoever. Actually, Google makes life very, very simple for us, but they hid some little tools away and some little features that you probably didn't even know about. And I'm going to show you how to use their keyword tool for maximum effect to actually work with uh, SEO. Now, here's the cool thing. Usually, uh, you use the AdWords tool for, well, AdWords, you know, the pay-per-click engine. But if you use it and keep it in mind for natural listings outside of AdWords, you can actually uh, tap into some very powerful niches very quickly. Now, some of you may have heard of my uh, keyword funneling technique where I use a combination of the AdWords tool and their search-based keyword tool. However, Google is now at the stage of getting rid of this particular keyword tool. And they've recently updated their AdWords tool and kind of incorporated and merged the two, which is very cool for us because some of the results from AdWords side compared to the search-based keyword tool were kind of a little messed up. And if you're not familiar with this tool, it was a very powerful little tool that uh, allowed us to really drill down and find some really cool hidden niches if you used it right. Anyway, we're ignoring this now because they're getting rid of it. So what do we do? Well, let's take, for example, a very popular niche, for example, car insurance. Now, I've used this example before. I'm actually active in this niche uh, with some of my promotions. And some of these are very, very expensive. In fact, let me just turn on the column here for the pay-per-click and showing you the, the actual uh, price of some of these. And let me just get the uh, estimated average cost per click. And some of this is crazy. It's like $27, $12, you know. If you were paying clicks, that would be absolutely insane. I'm just waiting for this to uh, kick in. You can see it's cycling at the moment. And look here, let me just change it to global monthly searches so we got the most searched for terms at the very top. And you can see it's $12 a click, $19, $21, $26, $75. That's insane money to pay. But if you know what you're doing, you can find some ways to tap into this market. Now, I wouldn't want to pay this much money. I actually use this with video marketing and, and do very well with it because uh, that's free traffic for me. However, if you want to get natural listings, what you can do is come up to the advanced options right here. If you click on this, you can make sure, first of all, you want to target English-speaking countries. So you could go, for example, United States, United Kingdom, whichever market you want to tap into. You can only select one. I always leave it as United States or English-speaking. That's fine. Um, but what we want to do is down here, the filter. Now, for example, we want global monthly searches greater than or equal to at least 1,000. Okay. Then add another filter. Watch this. Competition. We want low and medium competition only. We take out the high competition stuff because you can see here, these are AdWords competitors. But here's the thing. The correlation between AdWords competition and the correlation between the competition in general for the term in the natural listings there's, you know, there's a lot of parallels that can be drawn. So generally, if you have low and medium competition in AdWords, you actually have low and medium competition for natural listings. So if we go here and search right now, we can see, hey, look, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven keywords with reasonably low competition, but with good search volume. Now, let's just take rental car insurance. And then we'll just get, just to show uh, the correlation here, I'm going to do this very quick because we only have a limited time with uh, these YouTube videos. But if I copy that, bring that over to Google and do a search, see it, that term itself has 74 million. But if we look for the exact term, bring that down, only 202,000 results or 200. 200,000 results. That's actually not that bad. If you look at this, this is how I do my drill down. I do an in title because I want to see who's got this term in their title. Only 5,000, well, sorry, it's waiting, 13,000 results. Now, if we do the other little term in URL, you want to see, um, okay, Google search is off because of connection speed. Okay, I've got 20, I've actually got 65 megabits. So I don't know why that is, but 
in URL, there's only 6,300. You can see that came down from 74 million to very, very small numbers. That means if we do some good SEO targeting to this particular term, we have a good chance of getting on the first page of Google. And if we do both, this is how I do my laser targeting. I want to see who is targeting both in the URL and in title. This is great for article marketing, guys, or press releases or what have you. You can see we're only down to 5,000. Now, generally, I like to have that under 10,000 when I'm seeing in URL and in title. So you can go ahead, for example, uh, get a domain with rental car insurance in it. Do some, uh, you know, like a little niche site about it, maybe doing a CPA offer for car insurance and rental car insurance. You know, there's plenty of opportunities here, but you can see here, there's only four people bidding on it here, a couple here, but there's not much competition. And as we've seen by drilling down, we don't have that much competition. So you can use these filters to really drill down and find great niches. Now, for example, just do one really quick. Say, for example, I just want insurance, just as a general niche. Now, there's a lot of CPA offers out there for um, that. Let's just take it a complete gamble here. Um, we'll leave that with a thousand and just see if there's any low competition. And uh, take a look. Okay, didn't find anything there. So you can go and put in just some general, very general keywords and see what is out there. For example, international business news. I just did business as a general term. These are very low competition, but you can see this one here, business news, surprisingly gets 450,000 searches, but not a lot of people bidding on it in AdWords. That's kind of interesting. There's a lot of searches there, but I expect that one's actually a, misno a little bit of a misnomer. But um, Office Live Small Business. Now, there's an interesting little term that gets 18,000 searches a month. Office Live is the, uh, you know, Microsoft Office Live small business. Now, if you can get the pack, I think that sells for like, I might be wrong, like 200 bucks. But if you can get an affiliate offer for that, maybe even if it pays 10%, it's $20 a sale. But let's have a quick, very quick look. Office Live small business, 53 million results. But let's have a look at that exact term again, really, really quick. Only 1 million results, but let's have a look in title. Again, I'm not sure if that's a misnomer, but 50,000. Actually, that's not bad. Again, you know, this is just shows you the parallels here. In URL, only 1,000. And again, really quick, in title, 1,510 results. Now, with some good SEO, some good backlink building, um, taking all the main factors, the domain name with an with the uh, the actual keyword in it, the title of the page, the on page elements, some good backlinks targeting that exact phrase. You could do very very well. So there you go. That's a quick little dive into using Google's keyword tools to find some really powerful niches and real powerful markets very very quickly. And don't be afraid of medium or strong competition. Um, you know you can go the low end, but low and medium. Hey, you can trounce that if you have the right skills. And if you're wondering about, you know, how you can tap into that, have a look at our Firestorm SEO course that's available on our site. And, uh, you know, that's really powerful stuff. So there you go. Have a great weekend. I just wanted to throw this out there real quick for you. And I'll see you in another video very soon.